Hey, everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. Um, I reached out to an FPO gal, and I'm going to caddy for her this weekend at Beaver State Fling. Cool. I'm very excited. But I have neither caddied nor gone to a major tournament before. So I was wondering if you have any tips on how to make sure I stay out of the way, but also stay helpful and uh, do what I can to make a round as good as possible. Uh, any help would be appreciated. Keep it real. Now, as far as I think that's great that you're going to be a caddy uh, for an FBO player at Beaver State Fling. I think it's really cool. That would be kind of a, a really cool, unique experience to be part of the event in that uh, aspect. What you have to remember is a lot, of, a lot of the rules that apply to the player is going to apply to you because, in a sense, you're an extension of the player. It's not in a sense like it, okay, as of are. the rules, you're an extension yeah, you're of the an player. you're an extension of the player. So as far as dress code, you need to make sure you look presentable and follow the dress code. As far as uh, smoking or drinking or anything like that, you've got to follow the the rules yeah. as, as a player don't. would. Yeah, don't. Um, well, Beaver State Flings, oh, it's an NT. Uh, no, yeah. majors is no smoking. You can smoke in an NT? I, I don't think you can smoke in NTs either this year. Pretty sure. Okay, so no smoking there. Um, and as far as like be quiet, obviously turn your cell phone on silent or turn it off. Yep. Um, as far as help, how much, I don't know, you didn't, she, he didn't say how much he knew. He just said for an FBO player, he didn't say like, I know the player. Right. No. So depending on whether, if you know the player and you know how they are as far as talking, that's great. If you don't know, then you got to kind of judge. I, I mean, uh, I've followed, I've never caddied for, uh, our players, but I've followed them and take pictures and video and stuff. Some players, they like to chit chat. They like to talk mm -hmm. a lot. Some players don't like to talk a lot. Um, like, uh, I mean, just Eric McCabe, when I followed him to take pictures, if he's not doing so good, he does not like really to talk. Yeah, he just wants to zone in and focus yeah, on what he's he, doing. And when he's done with his shot, he walks away and he does his thing. Um, there's been times where he's not playing so well, and I'll just kind of just stand there and he'll come up and kind of joke around about something. And I'll know that, okay, he's he's taking it in stride and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, then there's people like Paige Pierce. Now, obviously, I'm not someone that Paige Pierce would take advice from, but sometimes I'm the only one around that maybe she's familiar with. And she'll come up and she'll start saying, I'm thinking I might throw my marshal here, but I'm going to have to go for it. She just likes to talk it out. Yep. And um, you'll notice that a lot with her. She'll go up to somebody she really knows and trusts, and she'll kind of talk things out. Um, so you got to kind of gauge maybe after three or four holes, how much does this person talk? Yep. And that's how I'm going to, I'm either going to just be the person that's right. The biggest thing also. Uh, yeah. I've, I've got, I've got this as well. So go ahead. Yeah. Is make sure you're paying attention because you may get wrapped up in uh, watching other players or talking to other people. You got to be there when they need their disc. Um, there's been times I've seen caddies where uh, a player is walking up to their lie and they're looking around for their player to grab their mid so they can do their upshot or something like that. They, that, that should not happen. Nope. They should, as soon as they're at their, their lie, turn around, you're turned around with your back to, with the bag and they're picking the disc and then you're backing off a little bit and then you're ready to take that disc. Yep. Um, I mean, I'm thinking a little nit things, uh, depending on the weather, make sure maybe bring a couple extra towels to yourself yep. uh, so you can dry off discs or wipe mud off discs or anything like that. Yeah. So the old caddy mantra that everyone used to say is show up, keep up, shut up. Right. That's what that's what they said for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they always did it with the Z formation mm -hmm, snap mm -hmm. as well as strange. Uh, but there is definitely some truth to that. Uh, you need to be there on time, though. The last thing that you want, not the last thing, but one of the last things that you want is to show up late to the round because mm -hmm. it just it just throws it throws people for a loop. You ideally you want to create as consistent an environment for the player as you can. So show up early. Make sure that you guys have a minute to talk. Um, ask them what expectations they have of you, what they what they like to do when they're playing. Um, and then from there, you like like Bobby said, you kind of just have to gauge the situation. Uh, if there's somebody who likes to talk, let them chat it up to you. You don't initiate. Always let them start the, the conversation. Um, and then uh, keep up is super important. Just like Bobby said, don't ever let your player get farther away from you than, you know, a few feet so that you can be ready with her disc. Then once they've got it, you know, get out of the way. You basically want to be as, uh, oh, what is it from uh, uh, Arrested Development? What they say about a Milford man. Uh, Milford man is is best neither seen nor heard or something like that, right? It's, oh. you just want to, yeah, you want to just stay out of the way. Um, 
And then shut up goes along with that as well. You don't initiate conversation, let them initiate it. And then you guys can hash it out if you need to. Uh, same goes for if the card is making a decision about an out of bounds ruling. Um, if, if they're, uh, uh, just if, if any other situation like that comes up, you really just want to make sure that you're there for the player. You give them their discs. They're ready to go. Um, you don't have a vote on the card about an out of bounds. Your opinion at that point really isn't important. So when I'm catting for like page or for Oakley or for anybody like that, um, I just stay out of the way. And if they ask me something, I'm ready. If not, I leave it alone. Uh, I looked it up. Arrest development. You can always tell a Milford man. A uh, the motto is that children should be neither seen nor heard. There it is. Yeah, yeah. children should be neither seen nor heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and that's that's kind of how I feel about caddies. Uh, my best caddies are people that I can talk to when I want to. Um, but if if I'm not wanting to talk, we're just walking together through the park. I don't ever have to wait on a desk. That's the best way to do it. 